the uh, opening runs, and then she'll give right. me. Good evening, and welcome to Tiki Hut Central. This is episode seven, and we are live Wednesday night from the Tiki Hut. I've got myself. I'm Ken Rose, your host, and I'd like to introduce my cohort over there. Who are you over there? I'm Lisa Rose. Excellent. Good to see you guys. <laughs> We've got Lisa, and I've got a very special guest next to me tonight, Mr. Dave Colby. He is the current president and CEO of the South Lake Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to the show, Dave. Thank you, Ken. We've welcome. got... I'm sorry, are you talking over there already? I said welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. We've got a lot to cover tonight. Uh, Dave's going to talk to us about doing business in South Lake and what it's all about and uh, bringing a personal touch to uh, business in the community. But first, as everyone knows, we always begin with a good beer. So I'm going to have uh, Mr. Colby reach over to his uh, cooler. We're going to bust open one of our local beers. Uh, we'll start with probably something light, I would believe. Oh, they're ice cold. Sorry. If you guys are outside and it's a little warm out, sorry about that. All right. So Dave has brought in um, a delicious Champions Lager from our local Sun Creek Brewery right in downtown Claremont. Uh, they actually brew right on premises. They've got uh, some restaurants there. And I guess they brew, what, uh, they have about a dozen beers there or something? And they're always doing something different. There's quite a few. You frequent there a lot? Every once in a while. I get Every once in a while. All right. We're going to bust this open. And, of course, we have our official Tiki Hut Central, the podcast, glasses, direct from Minuteman Press. So if you need some glassware, you need some swag, you can always reach out to Minuteman Press right here in Claremont. Here we go, Lisa. Thank you. And we'll make sure to get Lisa on camera before she sips it so that we can see uh, <laughs> how she does with that. All right. Well, welcome to the show, Dave. Cheers. Lisa, cheers. 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 We can't reach that far. <laughs> and let's give a sip. That's not bad. My sips are usually more than the average guy. That's pretty good. I like that. I like this. Light, I like refreshing. This. I can do this. So this is a lager from Sun Creek Brewery. And this is our first beer of the night. Uh, Dave was kind enough to reach out to both the Sun Creek Brewery here in town and the Claremont Brewing Company uh, also in downtown Claremont for uh, I, I think we're trying a porter later, right? Yeah, American porter. We got a porter later. Excellent. All right, so that's our beer for the night so far. And again, like I said, I'd like to introduce Dave. He's the president and current CEO of the South Lake Chamber of Commerce. And uh, from what I understand, Dave, you've been in the chamber business for quite some time. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? For almost 30 years I've been working for wow. different chambers of commerce uh, here in South Lake for five years. Next month will be five years we moved down here, brought my family down from upstate New York. Wow, Okay. And uh, I understand you went to Bridgewater State. I did. And that's in Mass. State College, southeastern part of the state, right between Boston and Cape Cod. And that's where you're from? Uh, yes. Just just a, a little bit uh, a little bit west of Boston. I, I grew up in a town called Medfield. Medfield. So there you go. So there's another New Englander on the show tonight. Of course, I'm, in, I'm a New Englander. And then Lisa is a local <laughs> <laughs> Groveland product, went to South Lake High School. A Groveland and, uh, product. Yeah, she's a Groveland product. And, uh, of course, we let Lisa be on the show anyway, even though she is not oh. a New Englander. <laughs> um, I, was, I was reviewing some of your information, and I figured we would talk a little bit about you first. And uh, you reside here with your wife, Andrea, and yes. your kids, Max and Madison. Madison. So We live right here in, in Claremont. Right in Claremont? Yeah. We, we live uh, not, not far from here. Kids go to school here? Yeah. Madison's a senior in high school this year, and Max is a sophomore. A sophomore. And you had mentioned earlier, Max is driving now. Yes, he's driving. I'm not sure we're ready for him to be a driver, but he's a fully licensed driver. Woo! So I guess soon you'll be looking for a second job to pay his car insurance. Yes. I have, <laughs> uh, have to do something about my gray hairs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, once you get gray hair, you have an option. Either you can dye it or completely shave it. And I don't know that shaving your head's always good living in Florida with the, with the sun beating down on your head. <laughs> But it, well, <laughs> it's fun. He's a, he's a good driver, a very responsible kid. But, um, you know, we wait for them to get some freedom, and then they pull out of the driveway, and, and it's a little devastating. A little de <laughs> but he's, he's doing great. Well, so, so if that's devastating, it's got to be devastating that Madison's graduating this year from real life. Yes. And heading away to school. Yeah, she's down to a couple choices right now, and uh, she'll be going away to college. So uh, she'll either be going um, a couple hours north or a couple hours south. We're not, we're not quite sure where she's going to go, but she is going to stay here in Florida. So I think we'll still see plenty of her, but she'll, she'll be away at school. She wants to be a teacher. Oh, nice. Well, we can always use teachers, and 
Uh, in, in fact, I think what, what a lot of us do all the time, in fact, I think you teach really when you talk about business and, and, and uh, business. Now, uh, Lisa's daughter, originally, I, she was going to California. <laughs> then she shortened her trip to Texas. Now I think it's Gainesville or somewhere closer. Hopefully. So as far as she wanted, they, they always want to get away from home, but then they realize, wow, it's a long ride to get home. So yeah. how am I getting back yeah. home? Yeah, we're, we're hoping we're, to keep her kind of close to home. <laughs> well, we're, we're thrilled that she wanted to stay in Florida you mm-hmm. know, for a while. She wanted to go back north and we were mm-hmm. talking about that. But I think two years ago at Thanksgiving, she was cured when it was dark at 4.30. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I don't think I could do this again. This is <laughs> Well, I mean, I mean, it is Florida, so it is sunny. And 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 if if I recollect correctly, um, you and Andrea are always playing on the water. You guys, you guys have jet skis, don't yeah. you? So you guys are on the local lakes. And yeah, we love getting out on the water. We we just really love everything about the South Lake community, being able to be outdoors year round. Right. The, the the great thing about living there was many good things about living up north, but um, being year round in the warm suits us better, I think. So you're probably like me. So you're probably glad that you do not have to shovel snow. Oh my God. <laughs> Sometimes I would spend one hour just clearing the driveway so I could go to work. Right. I, I, I hear you. I've shoveled many driveways many times. And I, I think as a kid, we used to make five bucks to shovel somebody's driveway. <laughs> and we, we, were live, we were rolling in the money because uh, the town I grew up in, the movie theater adjusted their prices for the movie based on the year. So in 1979, it was 79 cents to go to the movies. So we could go see the movie like five times for five bucks. That's crazy. So, but that's how it was. Um, now, in, in addition to your chamber work, um, I found somewhere that you interned at Disney World. Yeah, that was the first time I really lived in Florida for any extended period of time. I, in college, I came down, did an internship at Disney World, mm-hmm. and it was it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed Central Florida, all different aspects, going to to both coasts, and um, thought someday I might end up back here. And, and here you are. <laughs> yeah, my my wife and I we had talked about it. My <laughs> wife went to school in Florida, so we had been talking about it, getting somewhere warm. And uh, I'll, I'll never forget, it was a cold January day. We, we took the dogs out for a walk. It was one of those mornings when your face hurt. It was so cold. Out. <laughs> and we said, this is, we might start thinking about this sooner than later. And Matt, Andrea called me that day. She said, I don't know if you saw this job in, in Claremont, but um, there's a chamber job available. <laughs> so I said, Do you think you'd be interested? I said, sure. <laughs> so, um, so I sent a resume in, and, and uh, three weeks later, I looked at my phone, and it was Claremont calling me. And um, I came down for a job interview. I came down in February. So mm-hmm. It kind of wasn't fair. I came down in February, and Andrew said, so what do you think? I said, I think I'm staying. <laughs> you sell the house. I don't want to go back to the cold. So, <laughs> I understand completely. Um, if, if, if I remember correctly, um, when Andrea came to town, um, I think the first event was a business after hours over at Ardmore Reserve. Okay. Because uh, I remembered Andrea standing by her cell, and I walked up to her and introduced myself, and I, I was probably one of the first people that she met, and I just welcomed her in, and you know, we talked about the schools and things like that. So, so that's how far I go back with her. Wow. She may not remember that I was the first guy that approached her, <laughs> and no, I didn't see if she was single. It wasn't important. <laughs> but, you know, it, it, was I, she I, blonde? I, I saw her standing there, and I said, you know what? <laughs> She, she she seems to be you know she she she's new and one of the things in the, our local chamber of commerce is that we're always welcoming new people in uh and i have very few business associates everyone becomes a family or a friend and 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 i think that's the great thing about about south lake yeah that's one of the things we love about this area is that everybody is so warm and welcoming uh, more so than any place that we've ever lived and and I, I hear that time and time again we have people that move to the area they start businesses and they say we, we just can't believe what a welcoming group it is and, and people do become their friends and then also become people that are that are there to help them start their business um, I, we had a, a business opening yesterday at um, at a business called home instead that came mm-hmm. from California um, to open this this business here, and Jim Hernandez, who's who's uh, he owns it with his wife, and he said, you know, he said I've been involved with a lot of chambers of commerce for many years, and he said I've never had anybody other than this chamber come up to me and say, hey, I have someone I want you to meet. He said it's amazing. He comes to events, sure. and people say, hey, I know someone that you can work with, and and he said it's just an unbelievable experience. So I think that that is unique here in South Lake. Well, I I, I agree. I mean, I mean, I think that. Um, with, without the friends and the acquaintances that I've met in 15 years of doing business in South Lake, I wouldn't be in business. So, so um, I, I think that plays a big role in it. And, and in fact, before you leave tonight, 
I have these chambers, thank you, and envelopes here for you to take back to the oh, office. <laughs> so uh, we do appreciate the business that the chamber gives us as well. Um, one, one of the things uh, when you're in the public eye, um, you, you find more reasons to do volunteer work. And I was reading that you were very active for many years with the Salvation Army. So um, what was that experience like and, and what was rewarding about that? Yeah, I was the head of a, a service organization, um, our local Salvation Army. It was just a, a great job in the, in the community. We ran a, ran a soup kitchen, provided educational mm -hmm. programs, and uh, just a, a phenomenal organization in helping people in need. So I, I've always been very community-oriented, and, and through that, it's, it's extremely rewarding. I spent a lot of time and effort doing that. But, but I feel I got more out of it because the people that I met enriched my life and, and I made new connections. So it was, it was really great being involved with that. Twice I was president of my Rotary Club up there. So I, I've always tried to be involved with the community wherever I've been. You know, I think, I, think, I think that's a huge thing for anybody listening to the show now or maybe you'll tune in later. Um, you know, I, I find a lot of times people, when they hear the word volunteer, they, they panic. Oh, I'm going to have to put time into this. And, oh, I'm going to have to go do that. Or, I'm going to have to do this. And, and I can tell you by my years of volunteering in different organizations, uh, just like Dave said, um, the reward that you get is so much greater than the effort that you give. I, I, th I think that's the great thing about giving and, and doing. And, and one of the organizations that, that's dear to my heart in town is the Greater Claremont Cancer Foundation. And over the years, um, whatever they need, Kay Simpson reaches out to me and says, Ken, can we do this? Can we do that? And uh, we've got the... Boots and Bunnies coming up May 1st, uh, another big event to raise money. Uh, and, and the nice thing about uh, Lake County, South Lake County, the organizations that raise money, the money goes right back into the community. It doesn't go anywhere else. It doesn't go to the next county or, or, or the next state or, or whatever. It's right here. And I think that's huge. Yeah, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. They do a great job with that organization. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy to be involved with some of the things that they do. And mm -hmm. uh, Kay, who runs that, is just amazing. Yeah, she's, she's absolutely phenomenal. One, one of the nicest people that you'll ever meet. If, if you ever go to an event around South Lake County and, and see Kay's name badge, Kay Simpson, say hi, tell her thanks for what she does, because she does a tremendous, uh, tremendous amount of work for people that are dealing, going through cancer, um, whether it's their family, themselves, individuals, and so on. Um, so again, I, th I think we're touching on the importance of giving back to community, which goes right back to what the chamber does as, as far as uh, all the things that the chamber's involved with. Yes. Yeah, so, so we're, we're a network of about 700 businesses, um, that are, that are members of the chamber and, um, and we support all of those businesses. So we do that in, in, in many different ways and, and we, we try to support them in business. We give a, a lot of referrals to businesses that are members of the chamber and we connect them in the community, connect them with other businesses, connect them with residents and really try to give them the tools to grow their business. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't agree more with that. I mean, so many times I see a post, somebody needs something, and there's always a chamber member or somebody that's active in the community that says, hey, reach out to so-and-so. And then you'll see additional comments on social media. Oh, yes, they're great. They do a great job. They did this for me, that for me. And so it's a really a community of, of, of friends. It's, it's so different than a lot of chambers that it's all business and, and white shirts and ties. It's you're, you're, you're working with friends all the time. Yeah, it's, it's nice that we're, we're small enough to be able to do that. Um, you know, be having 700 businesses, we're, we're able to know mm -hmm. all of our members. I have worked for, for larger membership organizations. <laughs> when you're 1,500 members, that's a little bit harder. But, but here in the, in the community, we're, we're still small enough that we can connect with everybody and, and make those connections. It's, it's, it's just fantastic. I mean, uh, a lot of times we all go out in town. Uh, we all support local business, and Dave's going to talk more about that in a few minutes. But a lot of times, you know, I'll, I can be sitting at a local restaurant with my wife, Lisa, and there's Dave Colby walking in, or, or, or there's um, Amanda walking in. There's all these different people walking in that we know through business. It's, it's, it's like your family, so you invite them to come sit down with you. Uh, we, we were at Claremont Brewing, and uh, Kathy Batum, who is a chamber member and a member of South Lake Business Leaders, she came in with her with, with with her husband Charlie, and we're like, "Hey, we've got a table." And they sat down with us. And I think we were at the Claremont Brewing Company for four or five hours. By the time we left, we probably should have Ubered or called Dave because Dave, Dave drives a Jeep, so he has extra room for us. But uh, you know, that's the great thing about the community. Um, we run into people everywhere we go. Everywhere we go, and that's and that's huge. I'm um, getting back to our beer here. Um, 
how are we doing on, on the spirit? Do, do, we, good. do we have something else that we're going to be? Uh, yeah, we have a porter, which um, that well, you, one's from, from Claremont Broom. It's a heavier, more full body beer. The, I really like this beer because I've gone with people to Sun Creek and people who don't tend to drink craft beers. They say, oh, I, I drink mm -hmm. Miller Lite. They, they drink something that's I drink lighter. Bud Light. <laughs> yeah, a Bud so Light. Yeah, a, a Bud Light drinker says, this oh, is I don't. Good. And so this, this Champions Lager is mm -hmm. it's nice, light, crisp, and um, and it's, it's for someone who isn't quite ready to, to be more adventurous with their craft Yeah, it's beer. good. I think it's great, but when I, whenever I go to Sun Creek, I, I like the, the, the squishy IPA, which is good. And they used to have, um, I think, they used to have the blonde ale. Sun Squishy. Sun, Sun Squishy. Sun. That's it. Sun it's, Squishy. It's very, very good. <laughs> it's probably their most uh, flavorful beer, but it's also a high alcohol content. So that's probably why I like it a lot. You <laughs> have to be careful with that one. <laughs> well, I'm going to let Dave fin finish his lager, and then we're going to bust open this uh, order that was uh, kindly given to us by Claremont Brewing Company. And again, Claremont Brewing Company is, is, is another great venue locally. Uh, all of their food is made from scratch. Their brewery is it's state of the art. It's a great place to hang out. They have live music uh, most nights. And uh, oh. you hold that up. That's cool. Well, look at this. This this is like a, and uh, for those of you that uh, like to say good day and drink a Foster's, this is a big ass beer. <laughs> so this, this is twenty five ounces. Really cool. And you can go in and pick any beer that's on the menu, and they will fill it up right there for you. So they'll ah. ask you what you want, and then they'll. They'll That's really cool. You. Dave's going to bust that open for us. I'm going to sample it real quick. Lisa, are you are you still working on your glass there? Yeah, I don't you, know if I You can just try a little bit. <laughs> try a sip of this. All right, hold on. I'll finish this off. Ugh. Well, it's 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 like a Guinness. It's like drinking coffee. Yeah. It's just coffee. No, I don't like coffee. <laughs> oh, stop it. Here. Give me your cup. Gulp that down. <laughs> you can't always have Bud Light. <laughs> All right. This should be fun. This tiny is tiny bit. <laughs> this is gonna be cool. Tiny bit. <laughs> Hang on. Let me just let me just get the camera oh, over oh there. God. Because because Lisa, like I say, Lisa's a Bud Light girl. Or um the only other man she's in love with is a guy named Morgan. Captain Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Morgan. So uh, let's let, let's give this a taste from the Claremont Brewing Company. Cheers. It Cheers, smells girl. Smells like coffee. It smells like coffee. Wow, you probably shouldn't gulp it, but it's pretty damn good. What do you not think, as Lisa? Bad as I thought it would be <laughs> by the look of it. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. It's good. I I kind of like it now. Now, from what I understand, aren't porters supposed to be room temperature, or or is that? I I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a porter guy. I I drink all my beer cold. Okay. Um, because there's only two kinds of beer, right? <laughs> Warm and cold. <laughs> uh, so so I was reading that, that you have been or. Uh, involved with the craft beer group, I was reading something somewhere, or maybe just like craft beer. Um, we, when I was up in New York, we we did pull together um, and and um, brought together um, many of the the craft beer people and and, and did some um, networking events for mm -hmm. them. We we had um, a lot of growth of local breweries, distilleries, and and, and wineries when when I was up there. So we did some events where we we brought them all together and. Sharing best practices was it was pretty cool. Well, that's fantastic. I mean, uh, uh, again, craft beer just kind of boomed. I mean, I I, thought, I think the first craft beer that I remember was uh, Sam Adams because because didn't Coke wasn't he didn't he put like a six pack in the back of his car and he was driving through the streets of Boston trying to get people to take his Boston Lager or something and now it's owned by a conglomerate, I believe. So. Um, beer seems to have played kind of a steady role in, in, in your life like mine as well. Um, tell me about rugby kegs because you played rugby. I did. And, and, and what's this rugby kegs thing? I mean, that sounds like you know a lot of guys just well, lugging kegs around. Well, <laughs> rugby is a, a tough sport and you sweat a lot and uh, you need to put some fluids back in your body after playing rugby. So i um, trying to always have something on, on hand and a little water and a little beer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. So it's so, like when you run a five k. The end of the five k, they serve beer. Well, well, there, there, there's a good friend of mine that lives up in Pennsylvania, and uh, she is, um, she's extremely athletic. She runs every marathon that there is. Super fit, super fit, super fit. But every marathon that she runs, there's beer at the end. And I'm like, man, I got to run those marathons, or at least drive through those marathons. So, yeah. Um, so, so you know, I. I Beer is an integral part of, 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 of everyone's lifestyle, especially living here in Florida where it's hot and 
you're working in the yard, you're working around the pool, you want to have a cold beer. Yeah. But this is a well, exercise helps you justify the. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and 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 you know, like Dave said, exercise is important. And and with these pint pluses, if you just lift these ten times, <laughs> you've burned a hundred calories. So go ahead and, and enjoy it. Oh, and 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 the nice thing here is, is is look, they actually they wrote um, on it. They they write on it. It has a freshness date that's it's written on. Uh, I guess the date that they fill it or the day they brew it. One that's of the two. The day that they. Oh no! It's it looks like it's uh, no. That's the alcohol. No. <laughs> oh well. Hopefully it is the alcohol content. Six point five. Yeah, it's not a date. It's the uh, six point five percent alcohol. Yeah, because we're not oh. into June yet. <laughs> okay, then, I thought it expired in June. Like I tell you. And then the IBU is how bitter the beer is. So oh, okay. This is, this is not a very bitter beer. This is twenty one. I I didn't know IBU. So so that's a bitterness. Yeah. So if you try an IPA or one of those beers, so, uh, so next time yeah, I mean this into, isn't bad. Next time you go into so for for you it would probably mm -hmm. be good to to keep it very low. The um, bitterness, right? Cool. Cool. Man, beer is great. Great way to start. So um, you you mentioned earlier that Andrea found this town called Claremont, and and so what what was your final what finally brought you to Claremont what said this is where we need to be uh, with my family and all that just coming and visiting we, we just really liked everything about Claremont we you know we were in a lake community in, in New York so mm -hmm. we um, would boat six months out of the year we had to we had to pull our boat out of the water and shrink wrap it and store it, <laughs> uh, it for the, the, the other six months <laughs> but but we we really liked that there were the lakes there were the trails um, and that there was actually some terrain here so when mm -hmm. we lived in Florida for a couple of years before, we were in West Palm Beach, and it was flat. Mm -hmm. And we could, <laughs> we could drive across state and really let go of the wheel because it was just flat and straight. So we thought it was it was really interesting here. And um, you know, we were big Disney fans, so we liked being close to Disney. We liked being close to Orlando and being able to get to either coast in, in a mm -hmm. short amount of time. So we uh, we felt it was kind of the perfect place to live. So. Sweet. So, so there you go. So that, that's why everybody comes to, to Lake, South Lake County. There's so much to offer. Uh, what's what's the favorite thing that you enjoy doing uh, in, in your time off? Because obviously the parks can be cumbersome and all that. So so the first thing you think of when you get out of work, what, what do you like doing the best in town? I like to jump on my bike. I'm, we we moved to the community where we are because it's right on the trail. So, mm -hmm. so, you know, being able to clear my schedule, jump on the bike and just get out for at least an hour and, and just clear my head is, is one of my one of my favorite things. Well, and and, and the bike trail is phenomenal because I believe that it it's it starts at the uh, boathouse. Uh, well, the the middle point the middle point for coast to coast is going to be downtown Claremont, is right? The, mm -hmm. the, the, the middle of the, of the whole thing, but um, but right now um, the end of the trail is down by South Lake High School. But that will oh wow okay. that will soon be going through Groveland and all the way yeah all, all, to the coast. all the way over so um so you know so I have a I have a, a route to go from from my house and to the end of the trail and back is about twenty miles wow um but you can go all the way through Orange County as well yeah I think yeah well only up to Apopka if I'm correct yeah, yeah. maybe further I I I've only gone as far as downtown Winter Garden yeah, I'm I'm I've only biked as far as downtown Apopka I haven't gone mm -hmm. past that point. Well, um, our, our show is really about beer, which we've already discussed, uh, music and, and business. And we'd like to get into the, the business portion of, of the show. And uh, one of the things that people hear regularly on the streets is, is buy local, buy local. So, so, Dave, what does that really mean to, to the average person that's going out to the store? Well, we encourage people to buy as local as possible, as often as possible. Uh, we, we think, first of all, you get a, a great experience. I mean, you can know the person who makes your food, makes your beer, um, provides any service, know your local printer. Um, <laughs> all, all, the, all those things are, are great to have that, that personal relationship and get the good product and service that goes along with that. So, you know, we, we, we believe that the experience is superior. Um, you know, somebody goes and they, they order something from a Vista print, you know, they, they just, you, there's no relationship there. You're not knowing the person, you don't knowing the quality, but if we want to order something from you, we will mm -hmm. go over and we'll say, this is what we want to do. You'll show us a sample and it's just a much more customized experience. Personal. Yeah. It's yeah. very, very personal. Minute man press. Minute man. <laughs> Thanks yeah. Lisa. Appreciate so, that. Uh, <laughs> so we, you know, we, and we try to, um, you know, really, walk the talk and everything that, that we do, we, we source things local we right. work with our local businesses to provide. So we, we think that, you know, if you try to buy local, you can certainly find almost everything 
that you need right on, on a local basis um you talked about community earlier we think it's important for people to support the businesses that support the community mm -hmm. so these these local business whether you shop at men and man press or, or any of our, our local businesses those are the people that, that support local all the local things that we love so those are the people that are supporting our little league teams those are the people that are supporting our local nonprofits. Those are the people supporting our local events. So the things that you really care about, why not support the businesses that are doing that? Right. Because if you if you go shop in downtown Orlando, that business is not supporting what we have here locally. So if you care about local, we really think you should try to build that that local experience. Yeah, I I, I would have to agree with you 100 percent there. I, I I think sometimes people are confused because. Um, the, the, there's local. Um, I, I'll use as an example of uh, Goombas. Uh, my friend Frank owned Goombas and he runs Goombas, and it's it's not a franchise. And um, every dollar that they make goes right back into the community. And there are other great Italian restaurants, Carabas and Olive Garden, and things like that. But I think that aren't those more of a corporate? They are, but but we they are local. I mean, you have a, a, a local proprietor. Nanette does a great job with with Carabas, and she's a mm -hmm. local person who lives in our community who gives back. So, mm -hmm. so being being a chain does not mean that they're they're not community oriented. You can look at Chick Fil A. Rocky does. Oh, know, phenomenal, like phenomenal. So, so he gives back to the community in many many ways. Love Chick Fil A. <laughs> so. So you don't have to, you know, only use locally owned. There, there's a lot of great people that that own franchises. One thing that's really neat about South Lake is so many of the franchises are owned by local people. Right. That they're not so much. And you too. And me too. Me too. Um, I, I don't know Rocky personally, but but I do recall at uh, the best uh, one of the best ofs, um, uh, Rocky received an award for everything that he's done for the community. And, 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 and those types of things are, are to me are just massive um, that although it's a franchise and so is Minuteman Press a franchise, but we're all individually alone, individually owned. I think a guy like Rocky really shows um, what you can do uh, to enhance a community, to make a community better and to bring more um, social awareness to some of the uh, things that go on in the community. Yes. Rocky was our citizen of the year. That's right. Point citizen of the year. And, uh, he just does a tremendous job and supports community gives employment opportunities. Um, mm. So many people and um, what they do with charities and giving back and giving people opportunities to raise money through their stores is, is tremendous. It's incredible. I remember um, I was going to the church at South Lake. Mm -hmm. It started over right next to you where they have that new church. Oh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. They started there and then when they found their new building over by Chick-fil-A, Rocky was feeding the entire staff, like everybody that had everything to do with building that building. He fed everybody every day until they were done. No, I mean, that's incredible. I know, that's, that's what I heard. Um, I, th I think one of the other stories about Rocky, you know, and I know we're talking about business people, was uh, I believe when he shut down to remodel, if, if I'm correct, he paid the entire staff during that process. He did. And that, you know, those are things that That's incredible. Those are things that you don't get from a big box or from an overseas company uh, like Vistaprint. All their profits go to the Netherlands, even though they have an office in Boston. But anyway, that's another story for another time. Um, so I, I, I mean, I, it's absolutely huge what what Rocky, as well as many other local business people, do for the community. Um, what are the key activities? Th th there are people listening that may want to start a business. People that may have a business that's been affected by COVID, uh, they may have seen a, a decrease in business. Um, what are some of the key activities you would recommend a local business owner be involved in to get back into the community and, and, and get back and well, get back? Well, there's resources available for people that are looking to start a business. Um, there, there's some organizations we work with, SCORE, which is Service Corps Retired mm -hmm. Executives. They can provide some consulting free of charge for people. There's Small Business Development Center. And then there's local attorneys, local accountants, people that can help you do that initial work to get into business. So we're, we're, we're trying to refer people who want to get into business. There's also many people in our community that can mentor. Um, you know, if somebody wanted to get into a, a certain line of business, we, were, we had a meeting the other day and, and Chuck Gainsford was saying, you know, oh, if, if, if somebody wants to get into an insurance business like he is, you know, mm -hmm. he, he could be a mentor. So uh, there, there's a lot of people um, here that are very willing to share their knowledge. So, um, so we, we try to help people do what they need to do to get in business, 
And when somebody is in business, we encourage them to be a member of the chamber and take advantage of all the different things that we offer. We have a lot of different networking opportunities, educational opportunities, and, um, and we list all of our members and, and we encourage people to, to patronize our members. That, that's huge. And uh, I don't know if you know, but, but Chuck used to be in, a print, in the printing industry. So, so sometimes Chuck shows up at my shop just to smell the ink. He's like, oh, I just missed that smell. So. <laughs> that doesn't, that, I didn't know that, but it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> doesn't surprise me. But, but an, an, another great man in the community, Chuck Gainsworth, he's, he's been here forever, Gainsworth Insurance. Um, and and I, I think we see that quite frequently. Now, with the Chamber, there are a number of great events, but many times when I get an email or, or like the, the next email 10 minutes later says the event is sold out. So what are some of the big events that a lot of members, they, they, they strive to get to? What, what, what's the biggest event of the month? And then what are some of the other events? The biggest event would be our business after hours. Mm -hmm. um, and, and those usually have, have plenty of room to, to mm -hmm. and we have different members host them. So meets and bounds will be hosting one at their, their new office here in Claremont. And um, it's a great network working opportunity we have rob nichols will be playing tomorrow, oh wow tomorrow night so everybody knows rob hey okay, yeah so there's usually food and drink it's a great networking opportunity it's just a, a very low-key nice. social thing to do what, what is that tomorrow night that's tomorrow night what time that goes from five to seven and where's the new office is it on montrose it's on, or? It's on highland so it's uh, not far from the fish house you know highland mm -hmm. runs runs oh okay yeah, 50. Yeah. so it's uh, a stone's throw from uh, from the fish house oh okay cool so so there you go so if if you're curious about what the chamber does or you just want to come out and say hi and, and, and maybe meet somebody or network, come on out tomorrow night. There's a big event. Everybody knows Rob Nichols that has seen him. He's a great, great country artist and plays all, all kinds of music for everybody. So that's, that's a, you know, a very social event. We have some things that are more structured. We have something called First Friday Chamber Connection. We have that event um, over at Claremont Brewing Company. We've been doing that um, as an outdoor event since September. And it's an opportunity for, for people to come. We give everybody a minute at the microphone to <laughs> talk about their business and, and what it is that they're doing. It's just a, it's an awesome way to get to know a number nice. of different people. So that's something that we do uh, on a, a very regular basis. We, we also do our breakfast. We haven't been able to get back into the Claremont City Center where we usually host breakfast for 150 people. We have not been able to, to do that since, uh, since COVID started. <laughs> uh, we're hoping to get back there maybe in June of this year. But uh, we've been using some smaller venues, so uh, we're going to go to Sunny's Barbecue next Friday. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, the 16th, and, um, and we will have a, a program there. It's an opportunity to, uh, to meet with folks. So, so there you go. I mean, being a part of the chamber, you get a lot of great insight on business, uh, a who's who of business. You get fed. Uh, and, and hopefully you'll learn something, and hopefully you'll, you'll um, make friends with, with, with another a uh, business person. So I, great opportunities for things like that. You know, I, I, I can't stress enough to do those. I don't take advantage of them as much as I should. Uh, and sometimes I want to kick myself in the butt for not doing them. But um, I, I can attest to you that whenever I've gone to a chamber of commerce function, I've always met somebody new and I've always generated at least a new lead. Uh, you know, at least a new lead. Maybe somebody's talking to me after they've spoken to somebody else. So um, it's it's the only way to network in business, and the chamber does so many great events. Uh, but a lot of them are just sold out just because of the the impact that that you and and uh, Amanda and and um, Shahanas do. I mean, it's three people that just do a tremendous amount of work. Plus, of course, you have the Blue Blazers. You know that, or we call them Blue Jackets. These to be yeah. Green Jackets. Yeah, the ambassadors. So, 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 tell us about the ambassadors. What do the ambassadors do? And how do you become an ambassador? So we have a, it's a committee of the chamber. We have 25 people that are ambassadors, and they're the people that welcome everybody to, to the event. So the, the chamber staff is there, but we also have the people in the, the Blue Blazers. And if you're new, that's who you need to connect with, and they will introduce you to people. So again, it's just way, a, a way to meet and greet. Since you primarily work with small businesses, I, I know you work with the hospitals and some of the big organizations. When you talk to local business owners, um, what are some of the advantages that they tell you about owning a business and what are some of the disadvantages that they run into owning a business? Well, a lot of advantages are that they get to be part of part of the community. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I think a, a lot of entrepreneurs are, mm -hmm. are, 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 are. I hate that word. I can never say that word. Lisa, bust, bust my chops. They're people who, <laughs> who are happier working on their own than they 
they would be working in, in, in corporate life and they, they have the opportunity to provide great service in and in a, in a great community and just really love what they do and, and, and the freedoms that they have running their own business are a lot greater than than if they they had chosen a, a, another path <laughs> i think um you know I've, I've been in business a long time so 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 people always always ask me like well you know ken what is what's the best thing about being in your own business and and honestly the first thing that always comes to my mind is i'll never walk in monday and get laid off but you know people have this um people have this uh i don't know if, if, if they misrepresent or they or this connotation that when you're in your own business, you're your own boss. And I have found just the opposite because although I, I own my own business, my bosses, my employees, my employers are everyone that I do work for. Because if I don't provide to them, they're not going to give me other business. You know, so, so I think some people say, I'm going to be my own boss. I don't have to answer to anybody or do my own thing. And to me, that's the first thing that comes to my mind, you know, that, oh, crap, now I have all of these bosses that need deadlines done, jobs done right, on time, so on and so forth. Yeah, there, there's a lot of pressure. Um, it, it's, it's not for everybody, um, but there, there's a lot of responsibility. It's, it, it's, it's keeping um, a, a whole staff paid and, mm -hmm. and having to make payroll and do, do all those things that, that, that come along with, 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 with being in business. Uh, so there, there's certainly a, a lot of pressure, but um, most of the people that I know in business have have been in business a number of years, and, right? And they love it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I I love it. I wish I could get away more than I do, but uh, it's it's always nice to go into work. Um, Lisa will attest. I go in at seven seven thirty every day, whether I'm quiet or whether I'm jam packed. I like to get in early, get the day started, respond to emails, all of that stuff. So, you know, I think that's. Part of being your own boss is that sometimes you're going to work harder and put in more hours than if you just punch the clock. And I think one of the great things about being in business too is you you truly can impact the community. Yes, you, you can help help uh, grow the community, and that's one of the the other things about buying local mm -hmm. is that that by buying local and, and supporting these local businesses, you can truly shape what our what our community is. I mean, right. I said people vote every day on what we have in this community by how they shop. If they, if they want us to have have a dress store or a bookstore they want different things well your your shopping patterns will dictate that depending on, on what it is that, that you and your neighbors do those are the businesses that that we will have and you can also really help shape economically what it is that we have here in the, in the community by by shopping locally those dollars get spent time and time again so when somebody goes to your print shop and and, and spends money you're going to spend that money at another local business so those dollars being spent five to seven more times in, in the community has a has a really large um, impact so we are, we're always encouraging people think about what you can buy locally go to a local <laughs> store don't just get on amazon and, and <laughs> i heard there's a new bookstore that just opened there's a great new bookstore right in downtown nice who do we know the name yeah sunshine books we did a ribbon cutting for them on saturday I morning saw that on facebook and um tremendous um they they do a great great job. It's right across from from our parking lot at the the city center. So, um, get an independent local bookstore and nice. really a passion of of that family to to get into to being a, a bookstore. I, I I couldn't believe we we posted um Shauna's and I went over to visit them one day last week and so we we put a post on Facebook saying that this was coming and immediately we had two hundred and thirty four likes and one hundred and eight shares of our post. I mean people are wow. just really really excited to have a local bookstore nice now that's incredible uh, you know if, if i remember in in one of the facebook posts i think that in, in addition to books i think they do seasonal they're going to have seasonal gifts or, or yeah they they have different things I, I bought a coffee mug there they have t-shirts they have they have all kinds of things there they have um they have a, a lot of nice gifts too so i saw some things that'll be great gifts for mother's day wow there. so and I'll then they check them out they also do i'm, I'm a big fan of audiobooks and you can buy audiobooks through their website. So oh wow! Okay, so so money goes right back to the yeah. community that so, way. So you can feel good about uh, about supporting a local business by by buying your audiobooks through them. Nice. Well, like like they said, he 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 bought a brand new coffee mug. But I can tell you this: if you come on to the Tiki Hut Central podcast, you get a free sixteen ounce full color beer or beverage glass to take home with you so you actually get a clean one to take home we're not going to wash right. that one for you and a hat if you're and, a hat. And, and, and a hat if you like a hat too because uh, mine keeps going down maybe there's a hole well <laughs> there could be a hole in that um 
I use this for beer, but I but I also my 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 passion is is milk. And if there's something sweet in the house, I'll I'll fill this up with milk and ice, and I'm in heaven. <laughs> so it it doubles as a milk glass as oh well. Gosh, I, I love milk. I, I didn't make a tuna. I was going to make a tuna sandwich the other day. My wife like, how come you didn't make it? I said because we didn't have any milk. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, I mean, who uses who used milk to make tuna? But I guess mayo was. <laughs> well, no, you have made... to have the milk to go <laughs> with. It. Oh, okay. <laughs> two separate things, but they go together. Are you blonde, Ken? <laughs> no, I just like them. <laughs> uh, but I'm bum. You need the noise. Yeah, um, I'm talking about shopping locally. One of one of the things that I enjoy the most is 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 at Christmas time. Um, you, you know, everybody wants to run to to the big box and to for their Christmas tree because it's less expensive. It's you know they load it in. But I'll tell you what, every year that I need a Christmas tree, I go see Kim and Sue at, at Kim's Cabbage Patch. While the tree the trees may be a little bit more expensive at times, they are phenomenal trees. Um, they last forever. You could probably replant them in January, and and we, we get a wreath too. We get a wreath. We go every year and poinsettias. And poinsettias, um, and then all year long they have fresh produce and yeah. things, and they are as local as you can get, and they support the local businesses oh, as they're, well. They're phenomenal. We we get our Christmas things there. We also um, go there for pumpkins and whatnot. I get my tree every year. Up at the Citrus Tower, though, from Ben. Oh, okay. Ben Holman uh, does it as a fundraiser. He and his wife have, have adopted several kids, and uh, they oh, wow, oh, nice as, as a fundraiser. So I'm able to to support what they're doing um, by buying a, a tree. He drives up to North Carolina and brings a truckload back. Wow. wow. But um, but Kim and Susie, Kim's Cabbage Patch, they're they're phenomenal. They do a, they do a great job, and the products they have there, it's it's amazing. Yeah, it's over the top. You know, just just uh, and. and they are about the friendliest gals that you'll meet. Um, I, I remember, I guess it was a month or two ago, we had um, South Lake business leaders put on um, a carnival at Lake Lake Catherine Blueberries. And Susie and Kim were dressed as lemurs. So, you know, if, if you're willing to put on a lemur outfit, but then again, I guess weren't you a bunny at some point? Uh, <laughs> we're not going to talk great, about great that. Money for charity, I was... Uh, <laughs> Convinced to dress up as a bunny. Yeah, that was one of the more embarrassing moments of my life. <laughs> but but if I remember, you were a cute bunny, and I remember. I think Chief Broadway danced across the stage as well. If, not not with me. Not with you. Not with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, there's, there's so many things that go on in, in Claremont. Um, one one of the things that has happened in the past fifteen months is this COVID. When you when you speak to local business owners. How has it affected business owners? How are some of them rebounding and, and getting back in the groove to try and get business to where it was? Yeah, I, I think people um, have adapted in different ways. It's affected everybody a little bit differently. Uh, I think some of the local businesses have uh, been um, you know, very creative in, in, in what they're going to do. Um, some local restaurants where they, mm -hmm. they didn't traditionally do a lot of takeout, they, you know, formed, CBC um, was one of the first ones that did that. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, they they formed a whole uh, business ar around doing mm -hmm. doing a lot of a lot of takeout. Um, so yep. it's um, you know interesting how how creative people were and and um, yeah there were there were some folks that relied on international travelers and that that was a lot tougher to overcome. But everybody everybody did business a, a little bit differently and, and and a lot of people just really rose to the occasion. And I was very proud of our community how much people. We're shopping local. So we did something through the chamber where we were giving out a gift card. We'd go to different local restaurants. We would buy a gift card every day and, um, and, and raffle that off. If people commented on, on Facebook to a post, then we would enter them in, in a raffle. <laughs> and, That's great. And then I was really impressed how many people did the same thing. So then they started buying gift cards and, and giving them to people. We had a nonprofit organization. They went out and they bought thousands of dollars of gift cards from our local businesses. So wow. a lot of people were, were really into supporting community. Yeah, that, that's amazing. And, and I'm going to put this out there. This is a little known secret, but um, the South Lake business leaders have capitalized on this, um, this thing. So when the South Lake business leaders put on an event, they reach out to local businesses to sponsor the event, whether it's free food, free drinks, maybe it's, um, plants, it, whatever it may be, they get local businesses to contribute to the event because 
most of the events are for raising money for charity. And so uh, as a member of South Lake Business Leaders, one of the things that we do is when an organization donates to an event, we then go out and buy gift cards from that organization. So it, it works hand in hand. Yes, they're supporting community, but then the community is in turn supporting them. And I think I think that's huge. Yeah, I, it, I don't think you see it that. Is. And, and really just trying to get people out there patronizing, recognizing businesses that they may not have, have gone to before. We're doing something twice a month. We do Let's Do Lunch. And we, we pick a, a different restaurant twice a month. And we just encourage our members to come out and, and do lunch. So next Tuesday will be a Carabas. And then um, two Tuesdays after that, we'll be over at Chefing It Up in Groveland. So we're moving around different places, just encouraging people to come out and, nice. and visit places that they might not have done before. That's, that, that's massive. I, and, and I know that, again, I hate to mention South Lake Business Leaders again, but um, we've had a couple of luncheons at Carabas. And uh, yes, they're a franchise and it's Darden and, and, and what have you. But uh, we usually have a group of about 30 or 40 members. And Nanette put out a spread for everyone. There was uh, bread. There was mozzarella sticks. There was fried calamari. There was um, shrimp. Who puts out shrimp for, for free? Um, so I think getting back to what Dave said in supporting local, there are so many businesses out there that are willing to support us as individuals that we, we should definitely support them. Yeah, they, they've done a great job and, um, and they employ a lot of local people. Right. Well, well what's coming up in the future, Dave, with, with, with the Chamber of Commerce? Is, is there anything on the horizon that uh, the Chamber has some, uh, maybe some goals set for? Or? Well, we have our, our signature events or some of the, the bigger community events that mm -hmm. we do. Um, one of the things that we that we missed last year was our Taste of South Lake. Oh, God. Uh, a great event opportunity for just $25. You can come out and taste food from 30 different businesses. We have some business exhibitors there. A really great event. Unfortunately, we weren't able to do it, but we're gearing up to do that again in November. So, uh, nice. so we're, yeah. we're optimistic. A lot of people getting their vaccine shots. And um, <laughs> so we're, we're, we're looking forward to doing that. Um, in September, we're going to do Sips and Salsa. It's a program that we do an event downtown that we partner with the city on. It's a great opportunity to come out, great live entertainment <laughs> and drinks, and it's just a, a real, real fun time. So we're we're getting back into doing some of our some of our, our community events, some of our other um, signature events. We do our teacher appreciation breakfast. Oh, that's um, massive, right? That's like almost like a two day event, or is it? Or yeah. So uh, my first year, it was sixteen hundred teachers and. In one location, then after that, it was uh, we decided to make it a two-day event. So, we, <laughs> so we, we turned it into 800 teachers each day. So we do the elementary school one day, wow. and then the next day we do the, the, the middle and high school teachers. Um, last year, of course, we were not able to do an in-person mm -hmm. event. So what we did is, is we were able to raise some funds and go out and, and give each school a $500 donation wow. where they could do their own food their own welcome back for their their teachers and then some other prizes that they could raffle off so we were able to do that for 20 local schools and we're going to do that format again this year we're still not able to right um, right uh, to bring all those people together but we're we're doing that and then our, our business awards that you mentioned earlier we're going to be doing that in october so we'll be doing the south lake business awards again hopefully we'll be at bella Kalina. we missed it last year because it's covid and then um, our golf tournament is back. Um, we also have an opportunity for people to come out on Tuesdays. We do something. Um, we do business and birdies. Opportunity for people to come out. We're doing it at Green Valley right now. We move that around to different local courses for just fifteen dollars. You can come out and golf nine holes and and meet some other local business people. There isn't enough time in the day for me to play nine holes. <laughs> if if there isn't a windmill windmill or a clown face. I'm chasing balls forever. Maybe, maybe we could. Do boy, oh boy. Maybe you could do three. Maybe three. Three is probably my limit. You know, whenever I've played golf, I have to invest in dozens of golf balls for a round because I just, it's the only thing I can't seem to do is hit a damn ball. But, you know, that's a story <laughs> for another time. Um, I, I'm, I feel like I'm always pimping things that Dave mentions. Um, but to bring up Taste of South Lake, I, I think I've been to probably four or five of those Taste of South Lakes. And while it sounds like $25 may be a lot for, for, for people right now, it is by far one of the best events that you can go to. And, and if you can only go to one event uh, during the year, that event is amazing because there's got to be 30 or 40 restaurants, all with food samples. Lake Ridge Winery is there. 
with with wines. I think the Oyster Bar was doing. I think they were doing mar- Somebody was doing margaritas, and I think a few people were doing margaritas. But after like three or four, it didn't matter. The Oyster Bar does their um, their clam chowder. I mean, the, the event is just massive, and, and the support from the community is amazing. And it's a it's a tremendous event. You got to do taste the South Lake, and it's always right right on the water as well. So sometimes it's 150 degrees out, other times it's 60. Usually pretty good. It's usually pretty good though, as long as it doesn't rain. But there's massive tents. There's a lot of different vendors, and again, they're the local businesses. So you may find a travel agent. You may find um, an insurance company, uh, medical, all that type of stuff. But there is plenty of food and drink. Yes, absolutely. So, so it is a great event. If anybody yeah. has any questions for Dave, feel free to. Yeah, you can just call, call in. Call that because... number at the bottom of the screen, and uh, we'll take your call. Or, or mom, if you're watching, you can call in and at least say hi. So <laughs> we, so we know that the phone's working. Uh, you know, so uh, that's the nice thing about being live is is that we can kind of snake and uh, our way through through the evening. Um, one of the things you mentioned earlier was that there are workshops for people that are maybe thinking of going into business or maybe people that are new in business. Are those workshops open to anyone or do you have to be a chamber member or can you just reach out and say, hey, I'm new to the community. I'm thinking of doing this. We usually have people who are interested in the, in the chamber um, come to a couple of events. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had somebody come to our event on Friday and say, yeah, we just want to just want to check it out. So we, we usually welcome in people so they can kind of see what the offerings are. And um, a, a lot of our educational programs come from our members. So so members are able to kind of um, you know dwell into their expertise of, of what it is and, and, and what they share. Uh, we have a, a fascinating program. It can be really on anything. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so 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 we, we have a call in guest. Uh, who's on the line tonight? Your father. Of course, <laughs> you are. Oh, well. I figured I'd better buzz in while you're going through all the different foods and all the different places that are offered there. So I'm certainly a great moment for uh, listening to what's going on there. <laughs> well, especially, you're at- Lisa's, especially Lisa's laugh. I mean, that's. that's <laughs> <a different show. laughs> Well, well, you're on live, Dad. So, I, do you have a business question? Hey, hey, you know, let, let me ask you a question. Um, you've been in business before, and uh, and and you've been involved with, with with local chambers. What what was your experience? Uh, you know, with Children's Wear in Port Jefferson and working with the local chamber, other businesses. What was your experience? Well, I think the chamber helped give you direction. I think the chamber and all of its members, and there were quite quite a few members from different. Uh, business uh, areas and different specialty businesses. So it offers you a tremendous amount of exposure. Uh, it gives you an idea of uh, whether you're in the right direction and you're uh, offering people in the community and the communities that surrounded us, Fort Jeff to Mount Sinai to all the different areas, uh, exactly what they want, if they were satisfied. So the chamber serves as a very important uh, a place to get feedback and to learn exactly how uh, how the chambers function, the organizational structure, and certainly uh, directed our business. It gave us an opportunity to see where other areas were developing and we're able to expand into uh, other areas like Setauket and further out east and, and make uh, certainly more uh, acquaintances with some very substantial real estate investors and those that owned a lot of uh, real estate properties, such as Stoller Associates. So, but if I remember chamber, correctly, but but if I remember correctly, Dad, what, what, one of the one of the organizations, or maybe two of the organizations that you that you supported uh, in business, what was the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts? It, it, I mean, I, I I can be incorrect because it was like I was like three years old, but uh, <laughs> you know, wasn't wasn't that also a, a a part of your business? And and did that develop relationships for you? Well, that built a tremendous amount of relationships because we were exclusive Boy Scout, Cub Scout, Girl Scout, Brownie distributors uh, throughout all of uh, Suffolk County. So we had exclusivity in in the larger way where there was one other place that had a small kind of kiosk type of uh, setup for them. But we were the main uh, Boy Scout, Girl Scout uh, place that was able to represent Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts the way they wanted to be. And that's why when you and uh, and your your brother and your sister helped in the store, you were able to uh, get a sense and a feel of everything that was going on when there was a lot of interaction with all of these, these different young 
young people that were looking to get into these uh, types of organizations and and some real nice pocket knives too if i remember well yeah i mean everything and anything everybody <laughs> wanted the badges everybody wanted the awards everybody even you wanted to be in the in the derby you know the uh, the pinewood derby made race car right the, the derby oh so, you did that uh, i came in third place I, I i had a trophy but i think it was my second wife that discarded all my trophies but anyway look look, look dad let, let me run thanks for calling in run. take care <laughs> Have a great show. It's a great show. And uh, All right. on the same track. And Lisa, keep uh, laughing for background. <laughs> that works well. That's Will do. Thanks. All right. Thanks for calling in. Bye -bye. Love you, Dad. Bye. I love you, too. Bye. Dad's a smart guy. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know about that. But uh, yeah, you, you know, so so I, I learned at an early age, it was important to be a, be a part of the community. Um, what else you got for us, Dave, regarding the chamber? Uh, you've mentioned some good upcoming events. We're hoping to do... Best of South Lake again, which, which is a phenomenal. It's like a flagship event. Yeah, and the, the chamber really is a customized experience for for people. We, we encourage people to come meet with the chamber staff and find out what's right for them. Um, everybody, you know, wants to participate in it in a different way. The nice thing I think about the Chamber of Commerce is you can pick and choose what it is that that you want to attend. I've been involved with Rotary and other service clubs over the years, and there's attendance requirements, and you need right. to come. And so, I mean, the nice thing I think about the uh, the chamber is you can come when it's convenient. Um, you know, you can come seasonally, you can, you know, it really depends on whatever it is works for you. And then also I encourage people to think of the chamber staff as an extension of their business. You Absolutely. Know, you're looking to make a connection in the community. You really want to meet this person or, or you have a, a problem you're trying to solve. Maybe we need to get an elected official involved with something. You know, we're, we're really here to create a customized experience for our members. So, um, you know, it's it's not one size fits all. Everybody has their own own set of unique issues, and uh, and we try to help people overcome the obstacles and and be successful. That's fantastic. That I mean, and and, and again, I, I I can't say thanks enough for Dave being here tonight because he's just a wealth of information, and it's information that anybody out there listening or talking to somebody can use. Um, they can reach out to you uh, at the chamber, right? It's uh, if if you look at the bottom of our screen. Or if you're listening to audio, then you can't look at the bottom of the screen. SouthLakeChamber-FL.com. You can go right there, SouthLakeChamber-FL.com. You'll, you'll find Dave's contact information. You can reach out to him uh, anytime, and he'll be more than happy to get back with you, mention that you saw him on the show. Uh, we're going we're gonna to take a minute, and we're going and, and to get into the, the, the fun part of, of, of our interview process, which none of our guests really know what we're doing until we get there. So... Uh, here we go, Dave. All right. <laughs> Favorite pizza toppings? Because we had pizza tonight. Um, and why? I'm going to have to say um, pepperoni and pineapple. Oh. Wow. No, no, I, I thought it's everybody's like ham and pineapple. Oh, pepperoni, pepperoni and pineapple. I haven't had that. Well, there you go. Okay, pepperoni and pineapple. Well, there you go. So if you invite Dave for dinner like we did, we at least had the pepperoni. We could have had the pineapple, but usually anything with pineapple at Tiki Hut Central involves an umbrella and rum. We did have so, pineapple juice. Uh, little can. We did have pineapple juice. Dump that on the pizza. We're going to play a game called This or That, and you're going to pick one or the other. All right. Steak or seafood? Steak. Steak. Oh, yeah. Rock music or country music? It's tough, but in this point of my life, I'm going to go country. Country? Is, is, is that you're in yeah. Claremont? Or? <laughs> I love country. I've, I've converted him, too. Yeah, she's converted He's me. He's really liking it. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they say when you play country record backwards, you get your car back, your dog back, and your girlfriend back. And, you, you know, well, you, no, you don't have a car. I'm sorry, a truck. So, um, <laughs> well, I have a truck, a dog, and a girl, so I guess I'm okay. Uh, salt water or fresh water? That one's tough too, but I'm going to go salt water. Salt water. A beach vacation or mountain vacation? Beach. Beach. So you love the sun. You, you love to play in the sun, you know, you're jet skiing and whatever else you can do. do. Do you snorkel or scuba or anything like that? Or uh, have you tried stand up paddle boarding yet? Yeah, yeah, I do mostly in, in salt water. I'm not too good with alligators, but uh, <laughs> I got a jet ski in, out here, but I don't swim in the lakes. Well, it, it, the reality is that, that, during or during the day, all of your gators are are up getting sun because they're reptiles. So unless you're going in the water early in the morning or at dusk, you're not going to get eaten. But I'm a northeast guy. I'll take my chance with sharks. <laughs> sharks. I'm okay with sharks all day, but <laughs> gators, no way. But I will tell you, if there's a nest around and you're near the the shore, you got to be careful. Got to be careful. Yeah. 
So uh, uh, Red Sox or Yankees? Red Sox. <laughs> this interview is now over. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a diehard Yankees fan, and I know coming from Massachusetts, it's Red Sox all the way. I thought we weren't going to talk about religion. <laughs> <laughs> Yankees are my religion. Um, I've, I've actually been to Fenway quite a few times. Uh, the company I work for, um, whenever we traveled around the country, we'd always go to a ballpark. So I've been to Fenway, saw the green, big green monster and all of that. But, you know, I'm a Yankees fan through and through. Well, uh, nobody's perfect. Uh, yeah, I know. It sucks. Uh, <laughs> Your mom says, sorry, no pineapple on pizza. Yeah, I know. Well, that's, <laughs> that's, that's my mom. Yeah. Uh, hey, if you could turn back time and talk to your 18-year-old self, what would you tell yourself? Don't sweat the small stuff. Don't sweat the small stuff. And our, and our final, like qu that. final question for tonight, uh, if you could have a billboard with anything on it, what would it say and why? We did it. We did it. And, and, and I hope that's not in reference to being married. So, <laughs> so it is we did it. We just, everybody, we just did everybody it. Everybody's overcome a lot of things. We did it. Last year and we did it. We did it. So there you go. So uh, that's some great stuff from Dave Colby. Again, president and CEO of the South Lake Chamber of Commerce. We'd like to thank him for coming out tonight. It was a great show. Thanks for being here, Dave. Thank you. Hopefully um, the information got out there. That was, that was all kinds of good stuff. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Lisa, let's say goodbye and aloha from Tiki Hut Central and <laughs> shut us down. Bye, everybody. <laughs>